Greetings, guys and gals. I'm Hound Dog Snakes on the way back with more Professor Layton and the Curious Village. And in the past episode, I started this puzzle here, Odd Equations. And uh, it was talking about adding 6 and 8 and stuff like this. So I found out the answer, and there's a reason why I didn't get it. So it turns out what you're doing here is you're using clock, like clock time. Um, so, for example, like 8 minus 6 equals 2 o'clock, but 8 plus 6 would equal, <clears throat> excuse me, like 2 o'clock p.m. The reason I didn't get this is because, and I'll show you right now, I don't use that type of clock. I use a 24-hour clock, as you can see. It's a 1454. So that completely slipped my mind. I, uh, I don't use 12-hour um, time. So that's why it, uh, I didn't get it. But even then, that's a pretty big jump to have to figure that out. Every puzzle has an answer. But uh, anyway, yeah. And I was thinking it would be one, but like, I didn't know why. But uh, that's the uh, odd equations one. Thank you. That will do nicely. Now, please vacate the premises. Well, how great help you were, huh? Forms as far as the eye can see. It's a bed here, okay. We also, okay, well, oh, I'll do a bit brief recap too. Um, last episode, we also found. Um, what was it? We found some uh, journal entries lying on the ground that looked like they were probably the Baron's. So we found out a little bit about, like, someone was making models for him or something like that. We don't know it. Hey, dear professor, I bet you hear this on my puzzle, right? Yeah, of course I'm right. The longest path. 50, okay. Two boys are playing a game in which the goal is to take the longest route possible from point A. Two point B is shown the only rules, no section of the road can be traversed more than once. What course should they take? Do I have to like draw a line all the way down? Okay. So they can't go backwards, can they? Let me see if I can draw a line here. Down like this. I don't think this is the longest route, though, is it? It seems like it'd be too simple. I'll try it one more time. What if it goes like... Like this, maybe? And... Is that the longest route? What course did they take to cover the longest distance possible? I don't know if this is longer or shorter than the, the first one I did. I think this one... I'm not sure. See, the thing with this one, it's kind of guess and check. Like, it's hard to... To, um, completely tell how um, what's the word I'm looking for here what the distance is um, so I'm not confident with that answer possible I'll, I'll guess it and see if I'm right if not I'll go with my first guess and if both are wrong then I'll just that do something else it. yeah I figured it wouldn't be that simple frankly I'm ashamed. As a general rule, try to cover as many of the roads as possible. In the example above, it appears the boy who walked the green path covered quite a bit distance, but as shown by the dotted lines, the roads has passed up are add up to be quite a distance. What does this mean, like two, one? What is it? What do these numbers mean? Maybe my first guess was correct. If it's like, hmm, I'll try it again. Like, it, it seemed too easy though, like to just do this, like. Wait, what if I try this? Oh no, I can't go back that way. Darn. Hmm. Um, 
see if I could hang on let me clear it for a second what if I try this how did I um oh see now I'm not gonna be able to get back through darn it what did I do the first time I did like this maybe hold on Ah, oh, see, now I can't go retrace my step in that direction either. Darn. I like, I like trying to solve puzzles like these, but at, at the same time, I don't see, like, a super logical way to, um, to come to a conclusion. I don't see a way you can get through the center. Like, I, I don't think there's a way you can get every road in here, but... Because it would be nice if I could then go like this, like go into the middle or something, but I can't do that. So... What if we try, hang on, go back to here, go down here, and then... I think it's the same distance, probably. Um, I don't think that's much longer. Here, the longest point... Wait a minute. You know, I'll guess this one. But if I'm wrong, I have another idea. Luke, here's my answer. That's not an error. Ah, my second idea is, what if you, from the beginning, go down, not to the left? Like, what if you try this? What if we go down here, like so, and then go back up through the rest of the, the maze? Kind of like this. Like that? Because that way you go through quite a few roads. You, the only thing you miss is this corner down here. Try that. And if this still isn't it, then I, I'm gonna have to do something else. No. Okay. Well, I just wasted seven minutes on that puzzle. <laughs> Maybe I'll go back and solve it when I actually know the solution. But th there's way too much, like, um, guesses there. Uh, way too many guesses, I mean. Do we go back to the manor, maybe? Like, it says ask around town, but, uh... <laughs> maybe Claudia knows. Maybe. Well, if it isn't Claudia out and about. And that reminds me of a puzzle! Oh, of course. I can't even look at a cat with a puzzle showing up. See, I know this is a puzzle game, but a minor nitpick I have. I wish they would show you when there were things that were puzzles and when there were things that were important for the story because at this point I'm really invested in the story and I want to see where the story goes but everywhere I go I just get another puzzle that's really hard and uh, it kind of and well if this was a game I was playing on my own maybe it wouldn't be as bad but when I'm trying to record it for you guys it's um, harder for me to uh, make it consistent you know uh, so I'm gonna not do this right now I'm gonna go to the puzzle or to the um, Matter and maybe ask Matthew. There are a bunch of people upstairs. I know. Maybe Lady Dahlia knows something. Oh, Professor, how fortunate you here at a time like this. I have a favor to ask of you. Please, Madam, ask away. I'm happy to come into your aid in any way I can. Thank you, Professor. Could you solve this puzzle for me? Oh, of course. All right. Well, let's see how much it's worth first off. How old is mom? Oh, this is another age puzzle. Father and son are having a conversation. The father turns to the son. You know, son, there was a time when your old man was twice the age of your mother. Of course, the next year I was only one and a half times her age. But still, that's pretty amazing, eh? The father is 44. How old is the mother? Would she be 22? Or... There was a time. Yeah, because if he's 44 and she's 22, then the next year she's... Oh, no, wait. Of your mother? Wait a second. Is this, like, when he was one year old? Like, when he... Because if you thought about it, like... If you're two years old and, like... You know, he says, there was a time. Obviously, this is probably before her, they met. 
unless like they've gone back really far. But if he was two years old and she was one year old, the next year he'd be three. So would that count as 1.5 times? Now I gotta think of the math, because... Well, it would be 1.5 plus 1.5. I have not done math in too long. I'm not good math, folks. I'm not good math. Um, I was only one and a half times her age. I think the 44 thing is irrelevant, if my logic is to be believed. The father turns to the son and says, Is that true? Is 1 times 1.53? It wouldn't be, because 1 times 1.5 would be just 1.5, so it can't be when he was 2. That's, that's false. Oh, wait, no, we're figuring out how old the mother is now. Oh. So that would have been wrong if I put that in. One point five. That confuses me, the whole 1.5 times thing. So I'm going to do this later. Yes. Somehow you are. Yeah, yeah, sure. What about, uh, Gordon over here? Oh, Professor, you just simply have to help me. I've got another puzzle on my hands I can't solve. As a man of the world, you know there's nothing women find more alluring than competence. I'm counting on you, sir. Don't doom me to eternal bachelorhood. Boy, literally every NPC I've come across has a uh, puzzle. Pinboard shapes? The cross shape on the pinboard has nine pins in it and six... Nope. I'm gonna go to the town and see if I can find more journal entries. Um, cause I, I need a little puzzle break right now. I just, I wanna advance the, uh, the plot. Cause that was really cool, like going to the um, Lady Violet's grave and all that. Now I'm really interested to see what's gonna happen. So have I been to, have I gone back from here before? I don't think I've talked to this guy. Like, how far back can I go? I can go all the way back here. Interesting, okay. Not even the Leighton Mobile. The Leighton Mobile? Is that literally what it's called? As much as I adore the contraption, it is just a car after all. That reminds me of a puzzle about cars. I, I didn't even have to read it, I was just like... 19. Oh, this is an earlier one. Parking lot grid. Oh, is this a sliding puzzle? Oh, this is, um, okay, this is like a rush hour. This'll do. Yeah, okay. I, I used to love playing this game. So, move this up here. Actually, we'll move this one over here. Move this up, move this forward, move this up, move this back. Come on. Oh, I just have to click on the arrow. I thought I had to drag it. Okay, move this back again, move this up. Hmm. Can I move? Okay, this doesn't have a whole lot of space. I'll move this all the way back here. And move this down a bit. Hmm. I think I may have... I need to find a way to get this out of here so I can get this down. There we go. Now we just have to find a way to leave some room here. Not quite sure how to do that, though. Unless... Oh, darn. I think I see... Now, um, I think I did that all for not unless I can do this. Because I need to get this car in the way. But then this one's in the way. Hmm. What if I move this up some more? No, I don't think that helped it at all. Yeah, now they're all just uh, blocked. Um... Should I move this back? I'm close. If I could just move this over one more, then it would be good. Move this down, maybe. Move these all the way over here. Oh, it 
it's just one square away. Dang it. Um, can I move this up some more? But then, see, I have to move that back again, so that's gonna just make it irrelevant, pretty much. Because if I move this back to get this up, then it's gonna block it, so... This car, I swear to goodness me, this, this car up here that I was just moving is a big pain to deal with. Um... I keep getting so close, but, like, I'm just... just not quite there. If I could just get rid of this one car up here in the top right corner, I'd be set, but... It's not the case, sadly. Do I have to do something different with the cars in the bottom corner? Because I'm getting nowhere like this. Um... Let's, let's see what I can do over here. Maybe I can move these over a bit. Again, I don't think that really helps at all, but... I can get this up here. Get these all the way down here. No. Oh, well, here, this will work anyway. There we go. You see, with Rush Hour, you just gotta move stuff around until you figure it out, basically. That was, that was a good one. I, I do like that game. I remember when I was in middle school... You can do it in 15 moves. Well, I did it in, like, 70-something. Um, well, that takes care of the puzzle, but I do wonder when we'll be able to get back to the automobile. Yeah. Oh, so I'm not sure what these gizmos I keep collecting do. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Um, I've heard, again, this is a mi minor spoiler, but I've heard that um, apparently you can make a dog out of it. <laughs> Looks like you fellas are getting used to same as stare, but stay sharp. Believe me, you'll be buried in all sorts of difficult puzzles. Yeah, oh no, this guy was German, wasn't he? But now I've, I'm sure you realize that you can retry all the puzzles you failed to solve, eh? However, have you noticed how some puzzles seem to vanish before you can get back to them? That's, uh, that's not true. You can go to Granny Middlesons, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we already know that. Oh, he's giving us a puzzle. Whoops, I didn't even realize. I thought he was just telling us about it. Oh, another path puzzle, huh? Okay. The local museum has an exhibit that spans nine rooms. The security guard is low for okay. And wants to walk out of each room while turning this a few times. What is the smallest number of turns he can take while still visiting every room? Every room. Okay, so... You go here, turn once. Go here. Oh, wait. Go here. Turn down to the second column. Now keep going down till he reaches the bottom. So he turns once. Turn a second time. Four allowed also be six turns. What I did was just the inversion of the, the line there. While still visiting every room, huh? Would a turn. Can he backtrack? And if so. Is a turn only a 90 degree turn? Because what I'm, my logic here is, what if he keeps going straight, turns, goes down to the second column, turns again to go down here, oh wait. Hmm. Not sure. Again, see, I don't want to waste too much time here. And uh, I'm just, I feel like I'm just being bombarded with a whole load of puzzles right now. And, um... Oh, Beatrice is here. So I might have to, um... See what I can do here. Let's go in here. Oh yeah, this guy again. We already saw this guy. He gave us the equations one. Is there anything I can do to the left of here? Just these folks talking about her. The door isn't gonna open. I'll, I'll talk around, but again, if I just come across a load of puzzles, I'll just I'll skip them for now. This time I really had it. Yeah, okay, he's just got a puzzle, so I'm gonna skip it. Um, unless it's a really simple one that I can do. So I'll be able to go to the, do that later. Yeah, I never solved that guy's puzzle. That's a running gag now. Um, so who haven't I talked to yet? I've talked to both of these guys, right? 
The last thing I did was I talked to Zapone, and he gave me no information at all. And so they just said, ah, figure it out. So that's basically what I'm doing right now. This guy didn't have much information. This place is like a dead end. Um, I don't know, guys. I might be stuck here. You there, yes, you. Do you mean me, good sir? Yep, you, this flower face is yours. I've been keeping nice and safe for you. Oh, thank you. Didn't I talk to you already, though? Who's this here at the top screen? I've never seen anyone just forget something like this while shopping. Your face space case. Do we have a clone walking around here now? I'm sorry, but you must be mistaken. I've never seen that vase before in my life. What? This fancy vase doesn't belong to you? So why'd that guy tell me to give this to you? Mm hmm? What did this man look like? Well, my head has a way of obscuring certain details. It's the worst, I tell you. Heh. <laughs> but back to the issue at hand. The mystery man wasn't regular around here, that's for sure. Was he the guy that crashed earlier? Don't sweat it, though. I'll give you it. I'll give it back to the guy next time I see him. Speaking of flower vases, I know a puzzle I bet you like. Was that... Is that mandatory plot progression there? Because I actually talked to him before, and it didn't, um... Do that. Fit the pieces and restore the vase. There's one catch, though. Mixed in with the pieces... Is a single piece. Of, okay, well, this shouldn't be too hard. There's a puzzle like this in Freddy Fish. So we'll get the, this done first. This here. This here. This here. This here. There, done. That was an easy one. It, it, the, um. There we go. Yeah, there's a part in Freddy Fish 5 where you have to piece together a jar. Another so that's the first 10 picker at one that I think deserves just 10 because every other puzzle I came across that was worth 10 was way really difficult you sure you're taking the fresh sausage home with you? Believe me, there's some links you don't want to be missing No, thank you. We're just fine Too bad. Not to bust your chops or anything, but that deal was a one-time offer Maybe you'd have said yes if you know what was at stake Oh boy, meat puns, huh? I think we're done here, Luke. I couldn't agree more I couldn't- yeah, there we go. Yeah, nice Hmm. Okay. So, someone told us... Told him to give us a vase? Or a vase? What kind of lout just throws trash on the ground? I wanted to pick it up. It's an old newspaper. Honestly, you think anyone that would know that trash goes in the tra- Wait a second. You have to look at this article. Okay. Well, what would, would you look at that? It seems to be Inspector Kelmy. Look at that. Kelmy hailed as brilliant detective and devoted husband. He's married. Okay. Cool. I didn't know that. Tell me Hale is brilliant detective and identifies killer. <laughs> is that his wife? Tell me celebrate each successful case with a favorite treat. His wife's sweet potato fritters. I bet you if we told Matthew to make that for him, maybe he'd like him more. He's so gruff, I never imagined he had a soft side like that. Just look at that old grump grinning over his plate of sweet potato fritters. I knew he was fussing over nothing when he said that he hated sweets back at Reinhold Manor. Hmm. That's right, Luke. He did say that. How very curious. R just random uh, guess here. Maybe his wife died and the last thing his wife gave him was like a, a sweet or something and now he hates sweets. Just a guess. Archibald? Is it true that I'm s s hearing about the two of you? Are you really running about down search of the Reinhold fortune? That's correct, sir. Currently we've, we're in search of a close friend of Baron Reinhold's. We believe he's entrusted this friend with an important note. Gracious, that's quite a search you have on your hands. My name is Archibald. Gus, I mean, the Baron and I were great friends. Maybe this is the one, huh? We used to have the most amazing conversations late into the night. Do you think that perhaps I'm the one you're searching for? Yes, I think so. But what luck that after all the searching we should bump into you. Yeah, literally everybody wasn't except this guy. I have one question. Do you recall ever receiving a small note or written message from the Baron? No, I don't remember receiving anything of the sort from Gus. But he did get me a fine desk that once belonged to him. It's at home. Maybe it holds some kind of clue. The Baron's desk, you say? Excellent. Would you like to come over to my house and look at it? Sure. You are most gracious. If you uh, be kind enough to allow us to look at it, we would be very grateful, yeah. It's probably a secret drawer. One thing, though. Gus and I were both in love with puzzles. It just wouldn't be right to let two strangers who haven't solved 50? How many do I have right now? Solve 50 puzzles. Okay, that explains why they're giving me so many puzzles then. 40. Okay, so I have to solve 10 more? Okay, so now I'll go puzzle mode. See, the thing I do, I like doing the puzzles when I know I've got to do them. 
Um, so now I'll, I'll go puzzle mode. Okay, so that she's got a puzzle for us, all right? 74, a broken window. Okay, let's do it. Four kids are playing and one of them threw a ball right through your window. Okay. Is this another lying one? Who broke kids? Unknown number. Can you figure out which one of these kids broke your window? Oh, this is interesting. So they don't tell me which one, how many of them are lying. B confesses to it. A didn't do anything. B didn't break it, I swear. So D and B are both. So D, either D is lying. Part of me thinks it's A. I think it's... I think A is lying and he got B to confess for him. Because if he's confessing, the other three wouldn't have any reason to... Um, say that they are... They didn't do it. I think it's A. I think it's A. Because C is backing him up. D, I think, is telling the truth. I think it's A. I'm pretty sure. That should do it. Yes, okay, good. Every puzzle has an answer. No, we just got to a thousand. Wow, nice. B and C were also lying about what happened, even though they themselves didn't break it. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, because I, um, the thing is, I think that B was, um... Oh, there's a rainstorm tomorrow. Oh, nice. I do like rain. Okay, so Archibald needs nine more puzzles solved. Let's go see what we can do here. I could go to Granny Riddleton's, I suppose, and solve more puzzles from there. Can I talk to, uh, Prosciutto? Yo, Professor, did you find what you were after? Never mind, Nan. I got something more important. Namely, chocolate. Help me solve this puzzle, I'll tell you something I bet you find very interesting. Okay. Chocolate puzzle. Alright. You have a hankering for chocolate, so you buy a huge sheet of 30 squares. The sheet is 5 squares by 6 squares, okay? You can only break it at the lines that run... What is the fewest number of times you'll need to break the chocolate in order to separate each of the 30 squares? Can I... Oh, what? I can draw on it. I don't know if that... The chocolate lines that run between the quarters. So, one line here. One line here. Oh, wow. This actually might take a while, huh? One here. See, I'm gonna need to do it. Fill in all these lines, huh? Like this, then they'd all be separate. Oh no, I need one more line here. So this is um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, I think is the answer. Unless there's some more sort of trick to it, but I'm pretty sure it's nine. There we go. It's not nine. Frankly, I'm ashamed. Don't think about it too hard. Think about how your chocolate will end up and try working backward. Wait, did it say to make sure every single piece was separate or did I misread it? Let me read it again. You can only break the chocolate and lines that run between them and you aren't allowed to sack them. To separate them all. I would think it would be nine, right? Because you have to break them all, like, break through everything, right? See, another thing I dislike about puzzles like this is that um, I gave an answer that would work, but it's asking, no, you have to do it better than that, you know? So... So I'm not going to do this one for now. Um, I'm going to go see what other puzzles we can find. Um... The bar? Is there anyone in the bar now? No. The bar is empty for some reason. Fork in the road. Did these cat and mice have another puzzle? That cat seems to get along pretty well, don't they? You think so, Luke? I would have guessed the cat was tormenting. But if the two are friendly, I believe you. Okay. Have you heard this one? Oh, Luke's giving us a puzzle. That's an interesting twist, huh? What's E? 
Wait, didn't we get this one before? Oh, no, okay. According to the diagram here, A, 2, B, 3, C, 3, D, 4, what does it equal? A is 2, B is 3, C is, C is, no, no, B and C are both 3. Uh, okay. Three. Does it have to do with how many, how many uh, other shapes are adjacent to it? Or is there some kind of like diagram here that I'm, I can't see? So D, D is four. Like the only thing I can think of, like maybe. It has to do with how many different other shapes are it's touching. But, uh... uh maybe I'll go for a few hints on this one. Take another look. Yeah, okay, that doesn't help me much. Refer to sections. What separates one section from another? Sections. I don't know. I'll go for the last one. Focus on the edges between the sections and the possibilities that arise from that line. Well, that's what I was doing, but that didn't make sense when I tried that. Unless the number itself is hidden in there somewhere? I don't know, they're, they're, these puzzles are really difficult, I'm finding. They just keep on um, getting harder. So, these guys both had puzzles, right? Was there... Maybe I'll try with Granny Riddleton's, maybe. Maybe there's some in here that I can figure out. What's 42? Camera and case? Okay. Three umbrellas. Five suspects. Make a rectangle. Let's try that one. 12 is my lucky number. Make a rectangle, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I hate puzzles like these, but all right. Uh, where should you cut the paper if you want to turn the paper in diagram one into a rectangle without flipping? Without flipping? What do you mean by that? Right here, right? Because then it's a rectangle up here. Let me just read through the problem first, just so I... Don't mistake anything. And reassemble them. Okay. Why well, would I have to flip it over? What? That, this is what I'm thinking it's saying. Because see, if you cut here, you do have a rectangle, but the rest is not there. But I don't know what it means by flip, though. I'll just try this, because it seems that all the puzzles lately are trick questions. Yeah. I don't know, man. I might have to take a break for a while now, because we're at 33 minutes, and uh, I'm not doing too hot with the puzzles now, so I think maybe I should just take a break for today, and uh, I'll come back with a fresh mind and do... Actually, well, this Find the Star one I can do. Um, but yeah, no, I just... I don't know. I'm having a rough time with the puzzles today. So the puzzle is actually here. And this star, I mean, is here. Remember correctly. I'm just gonna make it kind of a bubbly outline so that I don't have to um, be exact. That one I figured out on uh, on uh, cheat mode, as you can say. Yeah. Get that one done. I sold it. And we'll get uh, things wrapped up. Yeah. Okay, folks, I think I'm going to call it a day there for Professor Layton, because uh, we, um, I'm going to take a little break so I can uh, get a little better at the puzzles next time, so I'm not wasting a bunch of time. So the next time on Professor Layton, we're going to try and get our puzzles solved up to 50 and see what Archibald can tell us.